and welcome to this week's video. So, first of all, just want to thank everybody who watched the last video, um, offered support, because it was not an easy week, that one. Uh, that was a testing week. So, thank you to everybody who interacted with me on that one, and like I say, offered some support. Greatly appreciated. So, today, uh, I'm going to be looking into Digital Lab. They are a UK-based company who, in a basic way, will print your photographs. I have reviewed them before, but today is going to have a slight twist on it. It's going to be something a little bit different about it. And I would love it if you join me and come with me. Now, it goes without saying that this year has just been absolutely crap for everybody involved. Um, nobody has been immune from this craziness. However, one of the best things that happened to me personally this year, in 2020, was being invited uh, onto a Zoom call with a photographer uh, who's based in Florida. Got his own YouTube channel, his name is Paul Cook, and his YouTube channel is PC3Photos. There'll be a link in the description below. And he had a series on his YouTube channel called Behind the Lens. I hope I'm right in saying that. Um, and this one particular meetup, two parts to it, um, was just him connecting with, uh, I can't remember how many UK-based photographers there were. Uh, there was a number of us. Um, but I was, I was invited to be a part of that, and it was amazing. Um, it was just kind of a very light-hearted sort of chat about photography and everything going on in the world right now. Now, I was watching one of Paul's uh, more recent videos where he went through his best, according to him, his best photographs that he had taken in this year. And he came to this one. I wanted this photograph quite badly. So I sent him a message on Instagram and I said, hey Paul, do you send your photographs uh, from the US to the UK? He said, I will look into that. And he did, and the answer was, mm, unfortunately out of my budget. Um, so thanks to Paul, it was his idea. The solution was, to get the photograph uploaded to my chosen company, no surprises, that's Digital Lab, and I would check out and I would do the rest. So, we're gonna look into Digital Lab's fine art printing service, and yeah, what paper I chose, and we're gonna talk a little bit about fine art, what does it mean in terms of Digital Lab, if you go with their fine art printing service. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be an expert on fine art because it would literally explode in the comments. It would go off. So I'm not going to go there. Uh, I'm very much new to it. But what I can do is I can talk to you about the options that I chose. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about fine art and what does it mean to Digital Lab. Now, fine art printing, when it comes to Digital Lab, basically means that you are using a service which is provided by a very highly trained uh, team of lab technicians who have gone through a series of training and assessments of their own from uh, Hannah Mills lab technicians. So it's not just a matter of Digital Lab or any company just looking at, um, you know, what is the best photographic paper, what is the best way of doing it, and then off you go. Uh, in order to use that title, a fine art printer for Hannah Mule, um, there is a series of training and assessments that have to be done uh, by Hannah Mule's own lab technicians. So you can be guaranteed you're getting a very high quality standard of service. And you can be rest assured that the quality will match the price. Um, Digital Lab used the very latest 12 color uh, printers with UV resistant archival inks, so there won't be any nonsense with it fading over time. As long as you look after it and put it in a good frame, you know, not right on top of a radiator or something, you'll be absolutely fine 
um, and the quality will, will last a very long time, I'm sure. Check them out for yourself. Have a look at the reviews. Uh, I have, you know, used them so many times. I can't remember how many times. And the customer service is amazing. For me, it's very easy to just phone them, obviously Monday to Friday, just phone them and get through to someone very easily um, and just talk to someone. There's no real nonsense. There's no real umming and ahhing. Some of the companies I've used don't even have a phone line. You just have to email. Um, and are you really getting through? In that case, are you really getting through to someone that knows what they're talking about? You never know. Um, but with Digital Lab, pff, yeah, definitely, um, you know, their knowledge and expertise is, I personally think, second to none. I don't look at any other company in the UK, um, really, when I'm going to get my photographs printed, whether that be kind of a standard level of service that I use for the gallery in Margate in Kent, or whether that be an occasion like this, when I want to splash the cash a little bit more, uh, get a higher standard of service, get higher quality. Um, yeah, both kind of options they will cater for. Now, it wouldn't really be fair to, it wouldn't really be fair to um, talk about what I'm talking about in this video and not mention another YouTube photographer that I have bought a photograph from. His name is Chris Sadler and he is YouTube channel oh, is Chrisography Studios, I think, yeah. Uh, check him out because he is the most creative photographer I can recall seeing, especially on YouTube when, uh, let's face it, there are more photographers than there are priests in the Vatican, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I got this shot from him and I love it. He uses this thing called a lens ball, which just sounds like I've put two words together. Um, to me, it sounds like I've just put two words together and it just looks incredible. Absolutely love it to bits. And I think that was taken from the Wrecking in Shropshire, which is a location I am desperate to get to. Uh, hopefully 2021 20, will allow me to, will give me the opportunity to do that. Um, so yeah, check him out. Chris Sadler, check him out. Link will also be in the description. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I don't normally do product reviews. I've only done a few. Um, so I'm open to feedback. I'm open to areas that I can improve on. Um, if I didn't cover something so well, or if I you know, talk too much about one thing, uh, do let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.